Hello everyone, in this video we're going to make an overview on Electron V. So basically Electron V is a unique weapon that appears in the unique decoder and yeah, this is where Nexon decided to make unique weapon appear in decoder again. I think the last weapon that was added to the unique decoder was the Purism Sword and I think it's almost been 3 years since Nexon added a unique weapon to the decoder. But unfortunately, I didn't even got this weapon for free because my luck was absolutely suck. Yeah, if you remember that video, you have to watch that video first before you watch this video. But luckily, one of my gang members managed to get that weapon for free. And he also lent me his weapon to make sure that I can actually make a video about Electron V. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss my upcoming video. And now let's move on to the zombie mode. So basically, Electron V is a DPS weapon in the zombie mode. Previously, this weapon was exclusively available on CSO China 2 months earlier because of their anniversary. But I don't know why Nexon suddenly released these weapons on the other servers. I think it's because some players were feeling envy for not having this weapon. And then Nexon decided to release this weapon on the other servers to make sure that everyone else can enjoy these weapons, including me. This weapon has one special skill called Electron Drop. In order to get the Electron Drop, you just have to shoot the Electron V for at least 5 times and you can stack it up to 3 times. And you just have to press the right mouse button to activate the Electron Drop. And you can hold it a little bit longer if you wanna blast the Electron Drop to hit some zombies. Because these skills was really useful against zombies and you can protect yourself or even your teammates. And as you can see, I'm using this weapon without any weapon parts. And yeah, it's kinda suck. But after I use the weapon parts, it looks even better, even with the deadly shots, I can easily get some kills with this weapon, and you can see the comparison right here. After seeing this comparison, I think you might want to use this weapon with weapon parts along with the secondary and male weapon with power up and critical, because it deals a decent damage to the zombies and you can easily kill them much faster than just using this weapon without any other weapons with power up and critical and now let's move on to the zombie scanner mode for the zombie scanner mode this weapon was really useful against everything because you can easily destroy the obstacles with this weapon if you have weapon parts but if you don't it's particularly useless since this weapon deals low damage to the obstacles and it will take some time to destroy the obstacles if you're using this weapon without any parts for zombies you don't need a weapon part to use this weapon since you can easily kill these zombies with the normal attacks or even instantly kill them with the electron strom and you can also destroy the obstacles while you're surrounded by some zombies by just using the electron strom but if you're playing on a higher difficulty i suggest you to use the weapon part since some zombies were kind of tough on higher difficulties for the bosses it deals a decent damage to the bosses if you have weapon parts but if you don't it's particularly useless since this weapon deals low damage to the bosses and as you can see i can easily kill this boss with my teammate and you can see the comparison right here Yep, you already see the differences, right? Yeah, same as before. Electron V with weapon parts along with the secondary and male weapon with power up and critical is more even powerful. And now let's move on to the summary. So I could say that this weapon was really useful on any game modes because this weapon was pretty easy to use thanks to the Electron Storm which you can easily stop some zombies from hitting you and you can protect your teammates with this skill and damage was pretty decent for some zombies and if you're using a deadly shot you can easily kill them if you had weapon parts on it for zombies carry mod i don't have to explain it again yeah this weapon was pretty decent for this game mode and i'm gonna rate this weapon 10 out of 10 all right everyone thank you for watching this video if you want to play with me just simply on my steam account or you can also join my discord server or even support this channel by clicking link in the description don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye